What up? <laughs> I'm back. So, I'm actually doing a book review on this book. I think it's pronounced Presidium. Uh, let me know, Austin, if I'm saying it wrong, because uh, my friend Austin Shippey is the author of this book. And so I was really stoked to dive into it, you know. Um, I felt a real Alice in Wonderland vibe with the imagery. And my tarot reading ass was like, oh my gosh, this is calling to me. I've got to follow the rabbit. <laughs> um, so, yeah. And honestly, I am not disappointed. They're like, so this is like all about like curses and hexes and how to, um, and how to reverse them, you know, how to protect yourself, um, when you're practicing magic or when you get into your, your spiritual work at all, I feel like extra protection is kind of like really deeply needed, um, because other energies will come in and just try to fuck that all off, you know, um, this book is, it's fucking great. I've been sending spells to all my friends that I've been gathering through this. I'm like, I need to get another copy of it so I have one that I could actually, like, write in and, like, fuck up a little bit. And then the other copy for, like, just keeping it there perfect. Because I'm one of those people. I, I know. A lot of my friends are like, you asshole. I love writing in books, okay? Especially books that are, like, spell books and things that I like to dive deep into. I'm like, I like to add little, like opinions or like like little things that you know that I I've like connected throughout reading and I don't know I'm one of those weirdos um but yeah and I'll even like connect to like things that I've read from other books and stuff I don't know it's a whole thing it's a whole it's a whole practice for me just to read a fucking book <laughs> um Man, you should have seen me when I got the book Paradiso, and it's, like, based on, like, the Dante's Inferno journey, right? Um, Dante's Inferno is, like, the journey to hell. Um, the Divine Comedy is, like, the joke of existence, kind of. And then, um, and then Paradiso is all about utopia and getting to heaven, like, how you get there, right? And so, um... I, that was another book that as soon as I fucking opened it, I was like, I have to write all over this thing. <laughs> I have so much to say on this matter. Um, but yeah, I feel very, like, strongly connected with this book. Like, like, I needed it, <laughs> you know? Uh, during, you know, the, like, my current course of just, like, diving deeper into my spirituality, I've learned that protection is honestly the smartest way to go about it, you know? Like, um, I even got this, like, fucking Himalayan crystal salt bar. I don't know if you can see it. Yeah. Um, I got it at my local metaphysical shop. It's called Candlelight and Conjure. I know. I, I have no reason to be marketing them except that I fucking love them, okay? And this is literally just a bar of salt, right, that you, like, wash with. And for my ass, I'm like using salt like that's been an ancient like tech or it's been an ancient like practice since forever like bathing with salt and all that we use epsom salt when our joints are in pain and things like that you know it's like it helps to release that negativity any toxins or whatever and it's a great protection against shit that comes in um I ain't letting shit come in, you know? This is, I'm like full ass guarding myself. This is like my bulletproof vest in the spiritual realm right now. <laughs> like, it's it's been fucking awesome. And I feel like it's helped me like, like fix like previous like relationships and friendships or friendships, you know, family ships um, that have been kind of like falling by the wayside. It's it's helped me to rebuild in those aspects, you know. Um, just by, you know, simply not allowing negativity to like come into those. Um but yeah, I don't know. It's super dope. <laughs> I I'm like I'm all about this book. Um there's a spell in particular, it's a protection spell. I think it's in chapter eight. Oh shit. Oh no. <laughs> I think it's in chapter 8, and, um, and it's basically, like, it's, it's an art, it's to get, like, the protection of Michael the Archangel and things, you know, summon him into your realm and be like, bro, help me, <laughs> I'm just a wee little human, <laughs> you know, 
Um, and so, I don't know, I'm really partial to that. I mean, you gotta read the book and let me know if I'm correct about that being on chapter 8, because I ain't gonna look it up for you. <laughs> yeah, um, I don't know, I, I really love this. It's, uh, it's really unique to any book I've read recently on spell work. Usually it's like all the manipulative shit, you know? You, like, you get a cool spell book, you're like, oh, that's awesome, and then it's like... How to fuck with everybody's, like, willpower. How to do love spells. How to do cast hex and all that. And, and it's like, I just don't work on that demonic ass realm, you know. But this, protecting yourself, using angelic forces. And, like, you know, because you know black magic is going around. Some people are practicing that shit and not even realizing that. And I learned that when I read The Four Agreements. Um... And so I was kind of like, damn, people don't even know that what they speak out into reality becomes reality, <laughs> you know? So it's like, you have to be careful what you say to people. Um, because you might be casting goddamn spells on them and you don't even realize it. Like, especially when you try to, like, tell somebody you're mad or you're sad or telling somebody what they're feeling and not giving them the authority to tell you what they're feeling to, you know, like taking their authority and telling them what they're th feeling, what they're thinking, all that. That is a fucking spell. <laughs> okay, that's black magic. Don't do it. <laughs> um, you know, let, let people assign their own feelings. Don't assign it to them, you know. Um, but yeah, and... Basically, I just feel like this book, it's, it's pretty holistic on, you know, like, binding, like, because I have a similar opinion to Austin in this book, like, where he talks about how, you know, a lot of practitioners won't do binding spells because they feel like that is fucking with somebody's willpower, and it's like, but yet yeah, in the physical realm, we will send people to prison, or we'll get restraining orders, or we'll do things like that, that are physical protections against these people who would wish us harm, you know? And it's like, if, I feel like if you are doing it for the sake of protection, if you, you know, if you need to bind an energy to get it out of your life, because it is literally, like, draining the life force out of you, um, by all means, you should. <laughs> um, it is a spiritual restraining order, and if you need to do it, do it. <laughs> you know, it's okay. Um, because then, you know, you're not, you know, because they've been infringing on your will, okay? On your will to live a life without their energy in it. And if they're infringing on your willpower, you have every fucking right to set up a boundary, a spiritual boundary, and say no. I'm not allowing certain energies into my realm. <laughs> not any fucking more. Um, yes. I just... Thank you so much, Austin Chippy. If you do watch this video, thank you so much for writing this book. Okay? <laughs> like, I'm, I'm thoroughly impressed. <laughs> I'm... Ah. I just feel like this is such a great fucking piece of literature here. And I'm... I mean... I've been showing it to my friends, I've been like, like giving them spells out of it, I'm like, dude, protect yourself, check yourself, <laughs> you know, um, but yeah, I'm, I'm all about it, and I can't wait to get your next, your other books, because I feel like, you know, this is, this is really good for somebody, like, I'm not, like, a noob to practicing, but I feel like, you know, this has, like, opened up a whole other, like, realm of practicing for me it's like all protection magic and you know me i'm a healer i'm all about the protection i'm all about it I'm like dude as soon as you start feeling a, a just a little hint of empathy i'm like go take a salt bath right now protect your energy because the second you start picking up other people's energies it's gonna feel like chaos <laughs> like you know um i just yeah i feel like Protecting your energy is very good. I mean, it's, it is what it is, you know, we got to do what we got to do so we can progress forward in life so we can, you know, just move forward. Uh, one time somebody told me, um, he was like, whatever you do in life, if you're going to fall down, fall forward, <laughs> you know, it's so like, that stuck with me. I'm like, I will fall forward, you know? And this is, uh, this is helping me <laughs> to fall forward a little bit. Um, a lot of it. 
This is really cool. Um, I, it's one of those books that you don't just read it once. You have to like peer through it periodically. You're like, wait, I remember reading about the thing. I need to go take notes. I have to put it in my book of shadows. <laughs> like, uh, this is, you know, these are practices that I'll probably carry on forever. And I don't know. I feel like uh, I love interactive literature, <laughs> literature that I can like really use. Um, so, yes, uh, here I am ranting about it. Um, also, you know, I, I, I don't know. I just feel like anybody who is like opening up spiritually, whatever your denomination is, protect yourself, <laughs> you know, even if you're like a Christian or something, I feel like taking practices to, you know, purifying your energy. I know, um, in Christianity, practices that have been used for protection in particular is oil anointing, um, the baptism, so, you know, water, <laughs> like, water, I feel like that's a very prominent one for all of us, is, like, washing, pur like, purging negative energy, uh, fasting, that's another way of detoxing, you know, um, there's, a few, I, I think they even mentioned salt baths and things like that. I, I'd have to go back into my Bible because I've read so many spiritual texts since. But like, you know, no matter what your practice is, no matter what you're leaning towards, you know, like even ancient Egypt was all about like, <laughs> protect yourself, you know. I mean, shit, you know what they wrapped, what they did during mummification <laughs> when they took out the organs? They put the organs into jars of salt, right? And then they filled the body up with salt and it was to protect and to preserve, right? Um, and so, and they, because uh, I, I love ancient Egypt. It's like they knew, they knew they were coming back. They knew they would be reincarnated and they're like, I'm going to need all my shit. So they have like their own little tomb built. So they have a house. Like they're like, I got all my shit. I've got all the artworks. So I'll remember like, you know, and then. What they didn't realize, <laughs> their beautiful souls, is that they would get new bodies in different places in the world. And so it's like, damn, I can't even go get my shit, <laughs> you know? You know, I'm, you know I'm one of those guys that woke up and was like, fuck, my mummy is all the way to fucking Egypt. <laughs> what am I going to do? All my shit's in Egypt. <laughs> um, so now I have to rebuild, <laughs> you know, but <laughs> whatever. Uh, <laughs> but, yeah, dude, like, um... But, yeah, I mean, I went way off course there. But, yeah, even even for ceremonies of death, they would use salt for protection. Um, and so that's that's something that I feel is really, really prominent. I, I feel like candles and fire, like, working with the elements is really important um, because God works with the elements. <laughs> you know, the element of God is the force of nature, right? So working within the forces of nature will, you know, benefit you in the long run. Um, anyway, I'm done with my super long rant about this. I, I just had to say my two cents, you know, and then I will get back to the readings. Um, I'm pretty stoked. I'm going to start drawing cards and seeing who's next. Um, but yes, anyway, namaste. Have a fantastic day. I love you guys.